fireworks to light up your It's not every day that I get to paint traditionally, but when I do, it's of a beautiful but psychotic woman. Hello guys, JFM Studios here to give you, or to show you, this painting that I painted. Uh, yeah, I did this over the summer. Actually, I think it was June. Yeah, pretty much the whole month of June. June and half of July. And this is uh, a painting of Scarlet from Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VII Remake, to be um, ex uh, more specific. But, uh, yeah, this is my very first uh, oil painting in ten years or so. And I'm glad how it turned out. It looks great for, you know, since I was out of the oil painting uh, gig for a decade. I mean, uh, as I'm looking at my camera right now, it's recognizing this face. So, that's good. Computer. You have to turn on now? I had this jerk uh, asleep just so I can record, but now it just uh, it wakes back up. It's like, hey, you're doing a video? Might as well make some noise. It's like we're inside a helicopter now, or a generator. That computer, it, it's good. I, I love my PC, but it's loud as a, as a mother. Am I right, guys? Now, this is Cactuan, by the way, one of my mascots, and right behind me is uh, Fat Gum. He's not a character of mine, of course, he's from My Hero Academia, but I just painted him as an egg, just because it's fun. And I need some, um, I need some more company in the studio ever since, uh, you know, lockdown. Well, not lockdown. Oh, this year's crazy. It is. That's why I'm painting more and, and, um, you know, not just, uh, traditionally, but in my computer as well. I'm mostly a digital artist, uh, but it's definitely very fun to, to paint on an actual canvas with actual uh, pigment, you know? It's awesome. So much that I've, uh, I'm have i going to paint some more. I, I'm going to work on an acrylic painting next. Even got some canvases, but this is for a future video. I might make it into, into a video, I might not, but I'm going to have fun with this project. Mm -hmm. So anyway, enough of me rambling. I want to show you guys the process. I recorded myself uh, painting this uh, portrait, and I may have already um, uh, talked about things that I've that I've mentioned in, in the following clips. But I don't know. It's been months since I've last seen those clips, so I might repeat myself. Like I said, first oil painting in ten years. It's very nice. So without further ado, here is. The process of painting Scarlet. All right. Um, I just remembered I should be doing behind the scenes stuff about this painting. Well, I'm. I just got done with the background yesterday. Now I'm just focusing on the clouds and the sky, which will look bomb. You know, I am. I'm out of practice. You know, I, just give me time. I'm just taking my sweet time with this. I'm trying to make the clouds look good. And the camera is, is doing it justice because of that glare, you know, but... I, I think it'll turn out great. If you don't know, it's supposed to be a portrait of Scarlet from Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, I made this in Photoshop, put it together just for a, you know, a little color study. You know, just a reference off of it. The clouds, city backdrop, and her. I won't be copying this pose directly. I'll be painting my own but just using this as a reference so I can know how she looks like. And trying to paint like that, not in my style or something. But yeah, here are the paints that I haven't used in like over 10 years. Surprisingly, the, uh, the paint has not been dried up or anything, but I had to uh, open them up with some pliers because they were hard to open. Yeah, the turpenoids over there. That painting all the way there, that's done with acrylic. That's usually how I like to paint, is with acrylic. But with oils, it's very relaxing. Slow, but relaxing. And while I'm painting, I'm listening to Iron Man 3. I just watched it for the first time a couple days ago. 
it, uh, it's still I still have it on rent, so I just want to, you know. It's such a cool movie. I can't believe I haven't watched it earlier. So yeah, that this is the second day, and I'll record tomorrow as well. All right. Epic. Yeah. All right. It's about almost 11:30 at night. Yeah. So I better do this before I brush my teeth and head to bed so yeah uh, the sky is pretty much done got the clouds there and what I what I do is just uh, earlier I uh, painted these extra clouds you know with the purples and the, and the peaches and everything and uh, I just wait a while until it dries a tiny bit so I can get in there with a the little dr uh, with a dry brush and blend it like so just a little bit doesn't take much. Oop. It's okay. It's a happy accident. Like Bob Ross would say. The goat. Bob Ross. The OG. Yeah, it's okay. Especially here in the middle. I'm, I'm pretty sure Scarlet will take her, her head will be right here. So the sky, while it's beautiful, I'm trying to make it beautiful in red. Uh, it's not that important. It's not the focus point, so, yeah. Yeah, um, I need my practice. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's a great way, you know. This is a great reintroduction to oil painting, and, uh, it's great. You know, I love it. I should do this more, but, you know, oil paints and canvases, they cost money, so, yeah. And it doesn't cost anything to make a digital painting. You know, saves on paper too. That's what I am. I'm I'm doing this for fun, really, and for the sake of you know painting, for the sake of it, you know. And the and I'm sure this will be nice decoration for whatever room I I put this in. But um, yeah. Working on digital, whether it's Photoshop or Clip Studio Paint, that's what I do. That's my thing. Sometimes I get a bit envious of, uh, of other tr of other artists, especially if they work with you know traditional like watercolors and all that. I don't do those. Gotta face the facts. Digital painting is what I do. You know. It doesn't make me less of an artist, though. Let that be a lesson to you, too. Whatever you like to do, whether it's digital, um, craftsmanship, uh, whatever medium you like to work on, that's what you do and own it. You know? But regardless, this is going to turn out great. Alright, guys. A little update. Uh, let's see, I added in the solid background here for the cityscape. I'm going to add details much later, but I drew out the... Uh, is that a spider? I'm going to have to kill that spider. I'm sorry. Alright, I think the spider is dead. I, it disappeared into the carpet. <laughs> oh boy, invaders. Don't like them. Okay. Anyway, I drew out uh, Scarlet's uh, outline, the basic outline, with uh, oil pastel right here, you know. I knew that art kit would come in handy. A whole bunch of oil pastels in there. I gotta use them. So yeah, I drew out the outline, and I'm gonna cut, and I'm gonna paint in, you know, layer by layer. As for the reference, I print, I look, I searched. Uh, uh, for a picture of Scarlet, and I found this, so I made a little cutout. This is from a model somebody made of her, a custom model that they can use for their own um, videos. You know, those SFM videos, if you've ever heard of them. So, yeah, here comes the fun part. I'm gonna color in her skin and paint it in, and it'll be tedious but fun. Can't wait.
All right, well, it's getting there, guys. I took a week off of this painting because I was working on my comic. I got that done, so it's time to continue. And right now, you know, it's looking good. I'm just about done, almost done. Right now, I'm just adding more depth to the background here. I'm gonna add lights to the city as soon as everything's dried up. I think that'll be the last thing I'll do. I also um, added um, her necklace and earring. You know, that's gray. I tell you, this this tube of gray hasn't been opened in 10 years and it, it was a bit of a struggle to get it open, even with pliers. Boy, boy, oh boy. And yeah, with the oil pastel, I drew in the basic outline of her face. And to be honest, I am so scared of ruining this picture if as soon as I work on the face, you know? So what will happen if I mess up? This is oils. You know? But as Bob Ross would say, we don't make mistakes, we only make happy accidents. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, technically, I'm not using black because this is gray. Dark gray, but still. General rule of thumb of mine, you know, try not to use black in uh, paintings, you know, it, it muddies the, uh, you know, the, the color, you know, I mean, the only time I would use black in a painting is actually black and white, black and white painting, monochromatic, you know what I mean, grisaille. And there you have it. That's the process of painting this Scarlet portrait. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're interested in my art and everything else, um, feel free to, to subscribe. I'm a down-to-earth artist, or um, a cartoonist mostly. I have my own comic series called Jeff and Taylor. In fact, I'm holding one of the books right now. This is G-Station, the very first Jeff and Taylor book. And it's on sale on Amazon.com. Let me read it. The, the synopsis. In this very weird issue of Jeff and Taylor, the boys got the chance of a lifetime by getting to be the first ones to test a brand new game console, the G-Station. It's pretty amazing. It can play just about any video game. It plays Blu-ray, and it can talk. Wait. It can talk. It also has dangerous weapons at, at its disposal? Holy man. Jeff and Taylor got themselves into an actual dangerous game. Will they be able to survive? So yeah, if you want to, you know, support my work and and um, get a chance to read this awesome comic, then click the link in the description and buy your copy, your physical copy, of Jeff and Taylor G-Station. I'm JFM Studios. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Hit that uh, punk-ass bell in the bottom to let you, uh, so that YouTube can notify you on a new... Uh, video and I do live streams every Friday night So yeah, that is That's the video awesome guys J from out have a wonderful day and goodbye